just a little demonstration here for my students in introductory physics on how to make a graph or a plot like an XY scatter plot in our current version of Excel. Pretty straightforward. Um, you're going to have an X and a Y axis, so I, I would label X axis. Maybe we've got something here. We're going to call this um, uh, current, and we will say that it's in, in units of amps. And then over here we'll have uh, force, and we'll measure this as our y-axis, and we'll make sure that this is in newtons, uh, so that we're all completely clear uh, about what we've got. I'm just making sure that this is all readable. Um, suppose your amps and your x-axis, we're going to start with 0 amps, and then we're going to go up to, uh, to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 amps. Um, because that's the thing you'll be controlling throughout the experiment. Then you're measuring the force. Let's just say it's zero there. Um, maybe it's 0 0.45, then, then 3, and then 3.8 newtons, and then maybe it's up to 7, and then maybe something weird happens. You've got a strange data point, and you go down a little bit, and then you go back up to 8.3, and then it's like 8.4, 8.5, and uh, 9, then uh, it stays at 9, we don't know why. Okay, so there's our data. And you want to plot this as an XY plot. Pretty straightforward. Um, you would uh, click and hold with your mouse button down uh, the what is going to be your X axis and then drag it uh, to the Y axis. I'm clicking on the letters for the columns, okay? You're not clicking down here on the actual cells. And you're not selecting the cells. I would click both columns like that. Go over to the insert tab and then you'll notice over here a bunch of different graphs that you can insert into your plot. If you click on this one, it's XY scatter plot, there are a variety of different options in here. I would select the first one, a traditional scatter plot, and there you've got it. Pretty, pretty straightforward, right? And you notice that Along your x-axis, you've got 0 through 10 for data. There's your 0 through 10. And then you've got your force on the y-axis here. But they're not labeled. Probably a good idea to, to label those. And so up in the upper left, you can click on Add Chart Element, select Axis t um, Titles, and select Primary Horizontal Axis. And look at it. It introduces this little thing down here that allows you to, to click in there and, and put some units. And for this, I'll just say Current in amps like that and, and click off of it and there you go and maybe you want to insert another axis title for the vertical uh, because that's a good thing to do and here we're going to have the force and that's measured in newtons like that okay so there you go and if you want to label this again you can you can change it uh, put a title in here as you see uh, fit done okay and Another cool thing, if you right click on one of the data points, you can, you can click on the data points, you can say add trend line, uh, and it will put a trend line in there. Now what's interesting of course is uh, you may want to set the y-intercept, you'll notice that over here it allows you to set the y-intercept as, at 0, 0, or, or you can let it free float and it'll find the best fit line for you. You can also display the equation on the chart and it puts it right up here, you can see it, sometimes it's a small font. Um, and if you feel like playing with trend lines, you can do that too. But this is really a very good way of just plotting linear information. So things like F equals BIL, um, when you're looking about the force on a wire with a current running through it while the wire is sitting in a magnetic field, this, this would be a very good opportunity, a very good skill set here for you. Um, but of course, you need to make sure that your units are correct, like amps and newtons. It, it doesn't operate the same as Fathom. Uh, but Operating in Excel is a good skill to have. All right, thanks for listening.